My junior cricket started uh, back in Newcastle, so I was lucky enough uh, to play in the first girls competition that happened in the area. I was only young, I was 12 years old I think, or maybe even 11, uh, and my sister played in the team. So uh, it wasn't that I had this great love of cricket and then I jumped at the chance to, to be a part of a girls competition. It, it just sort of happened that it was available and I was really keen to play lots of different sports and yeah, the minute I, I took it up I was hooked really. Um, from there I uh, made lots of really good friends in that club team and then we progressed through the representative scene together so I was lucky enough to play for the New South Wales under 17s and 19s as it was then uh, and yeah I've been hooked ever since. Uh, so when I left Newcastle I, I moved to Sydney and went to Sydney University and studied human movement and health education um, so long name for a PE teacher um, so after I, I've completed that degree um, getting into PE is really tricky uh, so I had a number of different jobs in that area and and then ended up um, teaching at both primary school and high schools. I mean, as a female cricketer, there's not really a choice. You know, it's not something you consider. Will I have a job? Won't I? Um, it's just something that you grow up knowing that has to be there. Um, so I, I do really, I do think it's it's good to have that balance, though. And even if it's just study or a hobby away from the game. I started playing for New South Wales when I was 18. Uh, so early 20s, I I made it into the Australian side. I was really uh, fortunate and unfortunate. My best friend Alex Blackwell hurt a knee, and I came into the team for her. So. Um, that was my first crack at playing for Australia. I did get dropped and, and have to go away and work on my game and come back. Uh, and then once I came back, I was fortunate to play for a number of years for Australia. I never sort of thought of as myself as someone who would be that good. Um, I just enjoyed playing the game. I, I think my, my dream was to play for my state. I'm lucky that I wasn't forced out of the game or I wasn't injured, so I had to leave quickly. So I had a long time to kind of think about it and come to terms with it. And I'm lucky that I've been able to get a job in Cricket New South Wales to stay involved. So my role is uh, the female pathway manager. So I, I manage all our elite programs from under 13s through to second 11. So I'm um, <clears throat> really fortunate that I get to see uh, the good young talent come through and, and help shape their careers and, and watch them develop and grow and um, yeah, basically help take young girls and, and turn them into elite cricketers. Yeah, look, I know a lot of the girls and I think it's fortunate. I played grade cricket against them only last year, so even the girls who were in my under 17s and uh, 18s programs, I was playing against them last year, so I'm still in a really good position to comment on their game because I've seen it firsthand. Um, and I think they, they know me as well, so they might be a bit more comfortable coming to me for certain things that maybe they wouldn't if I'd been out of the game for a long time. I started here back in February, so it was a really nice transition actually. I retired at the end of January and started here in February, so in terms of being out of the organisation I was out for about a week. Yeah, look, I wouldn't be working for Cricket New South Wales now if I hadn't had really good experiences along the whole journey. I've always felt that this has been a home for me. Um, moving away from Newcastle as a young athlete, I was 18 and Cricket New South Wales has been the one really consistent thing throughout my life. I know everyone here in the office from the receptionist to the CEO. Um, so they, they really have been fantastic to me, as have ACA. Um, I've done, as I said, a human movement degree. Um, I'm also completing a master's degree. Um, so I, I come from the other end um, where I've actually had to pay for my degree before the ACA started the funding, so I know what it's like without that funding. Uh, I still have a small hex debt, so the girls coming through now don't have any understanding of what that's like. Um, so the support that I've had from both Cricket Australia, Cricket New South Wales and also the ACA has been uh, really helpful. Education is really priceless and will serve you well for your whole life. Um, there's people all over the world who would jump at the chance for a free education and we're really lucky here that not only do we have a, a fantastic education system but someone's prepared to pay for you to, to be a part of it. I was really fortunate that this role came up um, basically as, as soon as I finished my playing career. Um, if I hadn't have had cricket um, to, be, to come to as a job, um, I, I don't know how I would have coped with that. Um, as I, been part of my life since I was 12 years old and I retired when I was 31 so just leaving the game completely would have been really tricky so I, I could imagine that um, people who don't have the support that I had um, might need a, a great support network to lean on. I think my parents have had um, the biggest influence on me. Um, they were both great athletes in their own right and really supported me um, growing up um, so they always put forward a, a really positive um, role models that they were so yeah their support has been instrumental. Uh, I had a, a bit of a dream year last year in terms of results we won the 10 in a row so my 10 titles in a row for me. Uh, we also did the double both the T20 and the 50 and I played my 100th game so last season was a pretty special one. Look we've had a really successful run here at New South Wales. Um, we've, ha we've had 
fantastic performances in our underage programs, which trump what we've done at, at national league level. So I've got big shoes to fill. Um, so my goal at the moment is just to maintain what we've got, but also look at ways in which we can enhance our program. Because in elite sport, you know, if you're not moving forward, then people are going to run over the top of you. So um, every day I come to work, I think of things that we could do better, um, which is hard to do in a state like New South Wales.